Good morning, guys. Uh, Monday morning, it's probably about half past 11. I'm late up here today. <clears throat> I was uh, doing something yesterday, I just turned the back. That's most people, probably my age and even younger, you know yourself, you just can stand up and all of a sudden you, you feel a twinge and then your back goes, but mine's gone from a back to my hip. Uh, beautiful sunny day today. We've had torrential rain, gale force winds, we've had the blooming lot. Yesterday was okay. Ah. Uh, had a meal out Saturday night. It was a lovely, fantastic meal. Uh, too much to eat though. <clears throat> today, well, as you can see, it's lovely. Uh, the here. I actually left my coat out yesterday and so I was sodden. It's, uh, it's a little bit cooler now. It really is. Uh, <clears throat> I'll show you what we done yesterday. Uh, this is probably what upset my back. Lifting this blooming chicken house. But the secretary said to me that he's got uh, these three chickens he want me to have. They're ready to come. Okay, here, come here come the God Squad. If I, if I see it, she'll, she'll shout to me. Right, this is what we were doing yesterday. Hello, my love. So, that's a house all on its own. And the, the bloody old ones have gone in there and laying their eggs in there, because it's nice and sunny, see? <coughs> but, yeah. So it's all protected from the top, because they got on the blooming ladder last time and got in to join them. This will drop down. Hang down there to stop them jumping up onto it. So we're just waiting now for the secretary. That's actually quite an old little place there, isn't it? But what I will try and do. Right. Hello, my love. Yeah, I'm here. I'm on my own. Guys, I'm starting to start rake this section over. And then I've got some red onions. They're going in, they're a little bit small, but they will kick on, they'll just be a bit later than the others. I've got to leave a line there, the width for that, so I can uh, get my stool in. I, as you notice, I've took the flowers up. But, uh, yeah, I've been doing a bit. We're getting there, plot's looking good. We started to do a bit of weed yesterday, but no good. We've got a northerly now. Yeah, the old ones come from the north, and that's cold. I left my coat out yesterday, so that's absolutely sick and drenched up here, and I ain't got a coat in the van, and I normally have. So I've got to crack on. Off we go. Oh, as you can see, they're a lot smaller. They really are. I probably could have left them and have a month or more, but I thought, no, I'll get them in, I'll get the job done. Oh, oh it's a bit of hard work today. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm going to crack on. I'll show you in a couple of rows. Right, guys, there is two rows in there. They're very small. They'll pick up, but they're going to be late. I didn't go through many red onions, to tell the truth now. So the next section will be... This, the sixth section will be my leeks, but I'm going to leave them to get on a little bit longer. It's very quiet out there, so... It's not me. <laughs> Second me, so it's lovely. To be quite honest, you get more done when you're on your own. Right, off we go. I just made through that section, it's actually a bit of shape. I'm going to try and do a little bit of weeding through the garlic. Hi guys, that's been weeded through. Uh, make two of that. Gone through that a bit. Sprouts, well, sprouts you can call them that. Uh, got two rows of onions in there, red onions. That's what's left. Well, I can't see them fattening up. They just don't want to kick on. I might try and put some uh, bloodfish and boon on them. See if they'll uh, boost them up. The others, they've gone, gone well. So what I might do is keep this from here. My elephant garlic. Or put the elephant garlic this side. I'll have to bring them down and get them in the ground. Right. I may want to go on. I've had enough. Bye for now. Morning guys, uh, Tuesday morning, it's probably half past ten now, I've just dropped the wife off down to the local big shop and place next, she's going and TK Maxx and whatever Christmas presents she's desperate to get. As you can see, 
It's a beautiful day. Plenty of people still flying about in the world. Absolutely beautiful. I've just picked my three chickens up from the secretary. So uh, they go on in today. But I've just got to put another bit of polycarbonate up against this side here in case we start to get the bad weather. Just there. See, they need need sunshine chickens. They're a lot happier. Oh, dear. I suffer with a bad back. But a bad back, I had an MRI on it. And when I lifted them from the chicken house over there, that done it. And the old girl, she moo like that at me. Oh, that blow. It's a bit, didn't think it was much breeze, but there is. I've got quite a bit to do. But I forgot to bring my, uh, my garlic, elephant garlic there. Uh, the path is going to need to sort and soon. But we're in good shape. I'll, I'll motivate over this. I've watched new uh, YouTubers last night. Can't remember your names, I'm sorry. I never use any good with names. I used to be a window cleaner. I can remember rules and blooming doors and how much people hear me. <laughs> Get knocked quite a lot, I used to. And then I even picked up, I even got a check one time for £2.50 off someone. And uh, I bloody bounced. You won't believe it, would you? Oh, never mind. That's a part of my 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 life. That was bloody. I used to have some good times. Right? Can you hear me? I want to pull that net up a bit more that side. So what it is, it's just a cane. Prop it up a bit more. See what you have to do. The the idea of the chickens not going out is because if they peck into any sort of contaminated bird poo, which has flown in or whatever, they can pick up bird flu. And if I could pick that up, the lot for the chopper. But birds get a cold anyhow. My birds have had colds. And I give them a little drop of... Uh, I've got some stuff what, so I give them drops of. And that usually gets shot of up within a few days. Very good. There's my leeks. I was going to put them in, but I'm guaranteed to start to do something. And the wife will ring me up say, come pick me up, I've had enough. Or... Well, she ain't spent nothing yet because when she spent something, that tells me I'm phone. <laughs> right, guys, so I'm going to crack on. Hey guys, I just put my new chickens in and the older chickens I've had to let out quickly so I can get it sorted out. So they're happy that they're just out right quick. I've got to stay there. She's lost all her feathers. Molting at this time of year is the wrong time of year to molt, but she's got all... Oh, look at this one, look at this. Right, I've got Black Rock and a Barama is the grey one. She's not laying yet, she's very timid. But the Black Rock's now finally found that I'll put some mealy worms in there for them. I've got feed, I've got plenty of water. They're actually warmer in that corner and all. She's a little bit timid, isn't she? Hey? So she's obviously, the, out of the other two, she's the scattier one. I'm going to have to come back tonight to make sure, that's it girl, that they go into the house. They might make their own way. There you go. What a beauty, isn't he? Yeah, see these here, these are just uh, golden line, they're called. They're 300 and odd eggs a year. But Mine are old now. They're old. She's not a liar. I've got possibly two or three laying. That's my kettle. Morning, guys. Uh, Wednesday morning, just out of 10. As you can see, we've lost our sunshine. A few days of sunshine made everybody so happy and cheered them all up, and then that's gone. I'm possibly going to get the big root of eight out today and go back over this. And hopefully that'll be done for then, for the winter months. But I've got to go and sort my new chickens out. <coughs> Still blocked up in the morning. I wanted to also do the pallets down the bottom end. As uh, my plan is, I use the pallets, I put three together and bat them together. <coughs> Sorry about that. Them sprouts I put in for like next year. 
coming along. They need a weed, though. Look at that weed. We've got blanket weed here. They're just... They're collies. They're not going to heart up until way after Christmas. No caterpillars on them, if you can see. But my Savoy cabbages, they're coming along good. That's a new row of... Uh, Fawnless gooseberries, they, they, you get the fawns on the first year and then apparently the next year you don't. I've got a few spare. As you can see, I've got my onions in. <clears throat> They're looking good. But I've got all that wood there. I want to break up what I do. I get my friend to deliver me a load of pallets. And then I break them up and I'll put them together as a group of three. This, see, this bed is going to be wider. I've got 24 blooming raspberry plants to get in. And I'm really worrying about it getting some frost now and not being able to put them in but uh, yeah that's what I'm doing put three together digging them in deep to try and stop all the weed <sighs> sprouts well we'll have enough for Christmas Day but I have got some reserve of Jack up there other than that I'm freezing you can't believe it four degrees today that is at the moment I can't believe people coming down it when it's like this but the problem we have is that there's so many of the plots now have absolutely had it. People have just walked away from them, left them. This one next door, then the one next door to that. He's moved down there, but he's not doing nothing. You know, you've got two over there, you've got another one over there. So we've got, <laughs> we've got quite a lot of plots. We've got three, four over there. So you've got at least 12. <sighs> right, guys. Oh, I've still got some radishes growing. You might hear me grunt and groan a bit. That's because I have trouble with ankles. I've got some onions here, but they're supposed to be spring onions in the end there. These these are purple radishes. Oh, they're beautiful. I grate them. They're my leeks. They're to go in. So, very quiet, very quiet up here today. I might get cracked on. But I'm having trouble with my, this camera at the moment. I've done an end clip for a, a previous few days, and uh, but my end clip didn't work. Right, guys, I'll crack on and show you what I'm going to do. I'm doing a plot in this section. I put three or four out of the van. I get that in and out of my van very easily. Well, then leave up and down a lot. Well, off we go. I'll show you when I finish that. There you go guys, 
Well, it ain't done too bad, considering because it's a big motor, that's hard to turn in tight spaces. But I've got one footprint there, look at that, boom one. Got a feel on the other side, but that's the first time I've ever attempted to do it. Well, I'm getting it, because uh, the, the steering has a turn on it. All right, so that's that done. Oh, I should have brought my garlic down. It's, it's, it's actually spitting the rain. I might try and break some pallets up for an hour or more. And they've got to put them away. I only let them out so I can deal with the other chickens. They shouldn't be out, really. I get myself in trouble. So they're now going to go in. Oh, please with that. That's done. I'll suffer now tonight. Off we go. Right. This is a special treat while I do the chickens every now and then. I make the old jokes lovely. Nice colour. Give them a treat. That's all it is. That's cheaper to give them a bag of sweet corn than it is a bag of uh, mealy worms. So I've got to separate this up into two last form because we've got two, two cagefuls and I want to get them in and get someone done. Right, off we go. Guys, I'm going to try and break up two or three of these. Uh, I'll break them up down here. And I'm going to take them. Take the bits of them so I can uh, join them up three at a time and then, then join them up with a, a baton between them so I'll make a longer length. Just double the bit. All right, Patrick. All right. Should be one of them buggers. Oh, it's got loads of nails here. That one is. Be one of them pallets which I'm going to do on video and it's not going to separate. Ooh, come on. Well, this one don't like. Cool. This could be a bugger. Ah, here we go. Normally, when I get one end, you have a start. But I look like I've got serrated nails. They're like a screw. And they them sort of buggers don't want have nothing to do with anything. They really don't have a heck of a job to get out. Normally they pull through the wood. Yeah, as you can see it. So eight nails could be a bugger. There is a device you can buy, but I'm trying to do things. It's like I'm trying to keep my seeds. Now, my own seeds for a lot of things. Oh, there we go. So I'm trying to get into the art of supplying your own instead of buying all the time. Some I know, some seeds you have to buy. That's why I break up a lot of pallets and stuff. Because wood is very handy. I'm, I'm lucky that I've got a call this one in. I've got a friend who worked on site. A lot of sites, they burn the pallets. Which is really unknown. In this day and age, yeah, I didn't think this one's going to come. God, nails in this one. They're not just put two nails in. They've got four or five. But they all be used, even if it becomes a bonfire. I haven't had one this year. Normally, I burn everything up at one time with bonfire notes, but I couldn't be bothered. I'm trying not to. Oh, come on. Yeah. Trying to get as much done as I can before old Jack come. Because then that'll be cover. And you all know yourself, you can't refuse a cup of tea. Well, that's the gist of it. That's the gist of trying to save wood. I 
holes in the end too much because uh, I'll probably batten them on that end anyhow, batten three together. So uh, what, what that's the equivalent of is having one, one in there and one in there. So you've got, well, three, look at the decking board nearly. And I'm just going to plant them in as long as possible. That way it'll, uh, Getting old for this game. Getting old. Yeah, that way that will uh, try and stop some of the grass and the weeds getting through. But most of it on this site, I'm afraid to say, is blown in with the air. Blown from other plots. Because other plots have uh, not been used or nothing. They, uh, in a mess and all the weeds blow onto everybody else's and I know we all suffer with it because I've heard you all mooning up there which is a bugger but people don't care I'm afraid we've got some lovely young people up here who have plots but now everything's gone back to normal now uh I can't get on with it Got too much going on in lives. Right, I'll shut you off now. That's that little bit. I'm going to say an ending now because I don't think I'm going to do much more. And I'm hoping that my camera's working good enough to transfer onto my video file. You yeah, look at this. This is my age. <laughs> it's been there since I think yesterday or the day before. I can't remember when I was coming out a cup of soup up here. Oh dear. And I blew my left it there. But yeah, I've got two plots. I think they're 10 rod by something, I don't know, 10 rod wide by 120 long. They're quite large, really are. But as you can see, I've, got, uh, I'm, I've been officially told I have too many structures. But they're all right, they are all right. If I packed in, I'd have to take them and remove them all. That's, that's the thing. So, we've uh, got quite a bit going, and I'm trying to do more. I'm watching everybody up on the internet to see what everybody else is trying to put in for winter months. I've done 44 or four or five jars of beetroot the other day. Oh, lovely. But I boil my beetroot, I boil it up till it's soft, take the old skin off, chop it up, put it in with uh, pickle and vinegar and brown sugar. And leave it, and it's quite nice. I'm pleased I've done that plot today. That looked good. <laughs> best of, I think it was the best of it. Normally, I've got my footprints going everywhere. Uh, so many people up there, it's like muddy boots. He's always telling me to reverse with my manners, but I never do. I <laughs> just go forward. All right, we'll crack on. I ain't said goodbye. I don't know what I was going to talk about. Oh, this on here. This is the rock dust I used to get from Scotland. So that's, that's quite good for onions. So I've sprinkled them. I've got two rows here to sprinkle. I've got two trays of gar elephant garlic home, which I'm deciding to put in here. Then where this was, I'm going to do my leeks. So then I've got all my onions and that sort of all on one part. And then that, that next year, well, I think it's probably a bit tight, I don't know. I don't know. See, all them tubs up there, what you see, I've got 54, 58, nearly 60, I think. Now, they're my tubs of spuds. And I put three tubers in each one. I grew Desiree last year in the ground, and it was a waste of time. But I grew Winston, I believe it is, in the tubs, and they were good. They were really nice. And the beauty of a tub is that you tip it and they're clean. You know, have no scab or nothing like that. Really were good. So I'm planning to, uh, I've bought, I buy mine by the sacks from Scotland, 20 kilo they are now. They used to be 25 kilo for 28 quid. They're 20 kilo now for 28 quid, which if you do a lot of spuds and you can share them out, it's good value. So I've got a sack of Picasso's coming and a sack of Winston coming. So that's me early and my mid-late. 
and hopefully I'll get a better crop of my Picassos than what I did the Zeri. The Zeri event. I've got on, uh, uh, oh, blink an egg. Oh, God. Oh, it's brain gone, brain gone. Brain gone, and they don't, King Edwards, I've grown them up here and they don't even grow at all. Strange is. Right, guys, if you see them two lights coming, he's now going to bib me and I'm going to have to tell him to get the kettle on. Right, guys, we go. Right, guys, I'll put them in the back of the van. The pile's getting down, but there ain't that many pallets. I've got a lot of this fixed stuff they use in Georgia now in the roofing. Uh, and it's good stuff, so I can take it home and I can put posts on it. Uh, points on it, sorry, point, points, <laughs> points on it. And I'll use it to hold my nets up and it. Oh, what a miserable day, I tell you. Out, outside, chairs are in the shed. That's Jackie Chan, that is. He, uh, he's my tea boy. <laughs> he's not a bad chap. He, he helped me with a little way of getting that started. That. Right, guys. Go. Right guys, I've had enough. Uh, it's got really juicy. Jack, leave the gate, me and John are now coming. Uh, yeah, it's got really damp and miserable. And uh, I get through your bones, up. Really do. I'm a sun worshipper. Well, I've got to just pick up them uh, bits of wood, take them, I'm going to possibly sorry about that. <laughs> Turn them looking up. Take them and put them in my uh, garage. And Sort them out. I've got some plant, bloody hell. I've got some, uh, got to find somewhere to put, put them for the old girl before she crucify me. Uh, right, hopefully this is working properly and I can upload it. Thanks very much for watching, commenting, new subscribers. I appreciate it very much. I watch everybody and I watch all you new subscribers. And yes, some cracking videos. Oh, dear, I'm getting cold. Right. Bye for now. Stay safe, please.